Today we're going to look at the basic setup of getting composite video out from an Arduino with just a couple of resistors and wires. Here you can see I have a very rough setup just using some alligator clips, a wire to ground, and then we have two resistors here, one in pin 9 and one in pin 7. Now the resistors you'll need, you'll need a 1K ohm and a 470 ohm resistor. The 1K ohm goes in pin 9 and the 470 goes in pin 7. You also need yourself a little composite connector, also known as RCA connectors. Now you look at mine here and it's white. Now standard uh, yellow is for video uh, and red and white are for the audio channels left and right. It, but the wires are all the same. The color coding is just for you. I just grabbed one out of a box and it just happened to be white. I snipped off the end here and inside there, there are two wires. One that is insulated and one that is not. The one that is not is your ground wire. The other one sends the signal. Now this is just the, the short end because I want long wire to hook to my Arduino here. Now as I already stated, your 1K resistor goes in pin 9 while your 470 goes inside um, pin 7. Now make sure they aren't touching on the bottom but after the resistor part, twist the wires together and clip a alligator clip to it. Now you also have your another jumper wire coming from ground on your Arduino. Now again when you cut open your um, composite cable you're going to have one that is uh, insulated here. Go ahead and strip that and that's the one you're going to connect to your resistor. So you can see my white line here that went to the resistors and then the other wire is just ground. So just uh, connect those up but make sure that the metal isn't touching here because if you do it's, it's I, I did it just to test out. It didn't hurt anything, but I guess theoretically it could. It just kind of messes up the picture on the TV. After that, that wire runs and plugs into the um, composite plug on your TV, which again will be the yellow plug for video. Now let's look at the software side of things. Okay, so the original library from this uh, came from elsewhere. There's many forks of it out there. And of course, I made my own uh, basically just because I've written some other scripts and examples to go with it, and I want to make the setup easy for you guys. So go to github.com uh, forward slash melx1000 and go to uh, my repositories and look for one that says Arduino TV out. And there you can choose to clone it or download the zip file. So I'm going to choose to download the zip file here just to make it easy for you people who aren't familiar with Git. If you're familiar with Git, you can just use Git. So now I'm just going to download that zip file. And then I'm going to unzip it and move into the directory that it was in. So there you have my examples, the, the uh, library, as well as the library for um, fonts and scripts, which we'll talk about more in a future video. Scripts uh, is a script that I wrote that will help generate uh, images for the output. So you can take a PNG and uh, turn it into binary basically for this project. Um, so now let me go ahead and start up Arduino interface, the Arduino IDE. I have a fresh install here. So you can see it's a fresh install, and if we go here to examples, we're not going to have the IMG to TV that I created because we haven't installed it yet. Go ahead and close Arduino interface, and basically there's an install script. And if you look in here, it's very basic, straightforward. It just copies libraries to your home folder uh, under Arduino. So all I have to do is do uh, dot slash install from the repository we just downloaded that uh, I created, and that's it. Now, when we start up Arduino, and we go File Examples, there is going to be a IMG2TV with some examples here. Uh, so the demos and the serial term are ones from the original library that I pulled from, and then the uh, NTSC IMG and the IT uh, uh, NTSC, uh, NT, yeah, SC, Punisher, uh, Skull One are uh, examples that I made. Uh, so let's go ahead. First things first, since this is a fresh install, I want to make sure I check the right board. I have an older board, so pick whatever board is yours. Make sure that I have the proper port checked. And then at this point, I can go examples and I can open up, for example, uh, the NTSC image, which by default, 
uh, is an image of Tux the Penguin that I've created. Or, I didn't create the original image, but I converted it over to binary using my script. So my Arduino is hooked up. I'm going to go ahead and click to compile that and upload it. And let's go ahead and see what that looks like on the TV. So there we go. Once it's done uploading and the Arduino starts up, it displays the image of Tux. Then it animates it in. It'll display some text saying, Tux the penguin, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, show the picture of Tux again, and then we'll end with a basic side scrolling of the image. Here after a couple of seconds. There we go. Now, there is other example code in there, uh, as I stated, uh, one that shows a little more of what this can do that I didn't create, that's from the original library I pulled from. So the other code, if I go to File, Examples, down to IMG2TV, and I choose the, uh, the demo here, uh, it shows a bit more. Uh, so it's got a couple of files here. It's got two images uh, that have been converted into a... Uh, hex code in this particular example, their logo and the schematics for setting this up, and it also gives some other examples as far as drawing lines, circles, other shapes, as well as a 3D cube. So let's go ahead, compile and upload that. Oh, I got an error here. Oh, that's because I need to fix this. Hopefully uh, I need to fix that. Hopefully you won't need to do that when you download the code. That's a, a little bug that I meant to push. Uh, so go ahead and run that. You do get a couple of warnings here, uh, but it continues compiling no problem. So let's go ahead and have a look at that. So once it's done uploading and the Arduino starts up, it gives their logo that scrolls down. And it's just going to go through some of the things it can do. It can do uh, text, obviously. And then here's the schematic of how you set it up, which I've already explained earlier in this video with the two resistors and the ground wire. Now I think they're going to go into some basic shape, or I think they're going to show some text. Yeah, so you can do different size text different fonts, and drawing basic shapes like circles, and squares, rectangles, drawing lines. And then uh, it's going to go into a loop of a 3D cube, which is pretty cool. Uh, so that that's a lot of stuff it can do right there with two wires, a ground wire and a signal wire. Now you might ask, what are the two resistors doing? I, I really don't know. Um, obviously they're, they're sending a signal out. What I think is happening, I think that pin 7 is sending the image, while pin 9 is sending uh, how to sync it up to the screen. Because if you unplug pin 9 and leave pin 7 in, uh, you can see the image, uh, but it's not aligned properly. If for people who are older like me, you might remember having TVs where they had the knobs in the back to adjust the image, uh, and if not, it kind of went side to side. Uh, I think that this is the automatic part of that. So I'm going to pull out uh, pin 9, and you'll see what happens here on the screen. So here we go. We have the demo going, and I'm going to unplug pin 9. Oops, I unplugged both of them. Let me get the other one back in there real quick. So pin 7. So you can see it's, it's the um, calibration for aligning the image. And if I plug pin 9 back in, the resistor back in, it lines things up. And if I unplug 7 and leave 9 plugged in, we don't get any image. And if I plug both back in and I unplug the ground, we can kind of see the image. That may not be good to do, so I'm going to plug that back in. So definitely it seems like pin 7 is the image, pin 9 is um, for aligning the image. And uh, just in case you're curious, I'm just guessing by testing it out like that. So at the time of recording this, there are three demos from the original library I pulled. Really two, because two of them are the same, just one's for NTSC and one's for PAL. Um, and right now my example codes are for NTSC since I'm in the U.S. Um, and there's two that I have created, but I'm going to be putting more in there. And in coming videos, I'm going to show you about how my scripts works and how to customize images using my script. And again, uh, well, I'll get more into that in the next videos. But let's look at the one other example I created. I'm a big uh, Punisher fan from the comic books, Marvel Comics. Uh, so I did a little uh, demo with the Punisher Skull logo. Now, I also want to mention, and I'll talk about this more in the future videos, is right now the current resolution of this is... Um, 
124 pixels by 96 pixels, so very low resolution stuff. Uh, but you can still do some neat stuff. So, but let's look at that other demo I made right now. So there we go. We have got uh, the traditional Punisher skull, and then we also have the uh, more modern Punisher skull that we'll be scrolling across the screen here in a moment. So yeah, that's one of the demos I made. So that's just a quick look at, at that. Very easy, very basic setup. Uh, again, my code is up on GitHub. Hopefully I'll remember to link it in the description. If not, let me know and I'll put a link there. If not, you know, it's github.com forward slash metalx1000. You can find that link on my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. I'm going to do a few more videos on this particular topic. Again, showing a script I made that will convert images to the necessary binary um, format needed for this. So you can take very simple black and white, like not grayscale, but black and white, a one bit images uh, that are low resolution and convert them into the format needed uh, for this project. Um, that's about it. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, all that good stuff. If you like my videos in general, think about becoming a supporter over at patreon.com forward slash melx1000. There should be a link in the description. Um, as always, uh, I, I thank you for any support. I thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.